Yo, what is everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're discussing the top 10 best specialist class setup. So a lot of people were asking me, what is the best like specialist class setup? Like what's the best specialist to use? All that good stuff. So in today's video, guys, I have 10 best specialist class setups for you guys. So if you guys do enjoy the video, guys, if this guys video help you guys out at all, make sure you guys drop a like and do subscribe as well, guys. Would greatly appreciate it. So I'm going to scroll through my class sets right now, guys. So we have 10 right there. I'll give you, I'll break them down to you guys and why I'm using them and like why I have them they're not just there for a reason every class in this has a purpose why I use it so let's jump into the first one so you guys know I love my grease gun the grease gun I think is a very fantastic weapon in the game but once again guys this is the first class we have airborne with the rosy to just a grease gun variant with the specialist so we have hunker escalation and lookout the reason why I use lookout is because it increased the mini map so if you guys know what specialist is if you guys do not know what specialist is if you guys kind of don't play or you guys are a casual player specialist is what it is you get you get to earn three basic training so you can have every you can have shifty contest hunker energetic scope flank you're, ha you get, you're able to have three of those so every 200 400 and 600 you will lock every specialist so 200 and you lock one 400 you will lock one and 600 you'll lock one and then when you get to 800 you will lock every single basic training and you turn into super soldier steve you guys know who super soldier steve is steve is this this guy's dropping v2s every day you lock super soldier steve it's a guaranteed v2 rocket no questions about it it's really overpowered so we have hunker escalation and lookout once again what i said before again lookout increases the mini map so obviously it makes it makes it easier to find enemies, and obviously after that eight, you guys get super soldier stealing a lot. So I suggest if you're gonna use specials, I suggest only playing basically team. If you're gonna play gridiron, it's not the best because gridiron is 50 points per kill. So obviously to unlock hunker is gonna be four kills. Team death match is gonna be two. Kill confirm you can do this because it's a kill and you cap the little tag. Where you get the tag, it's like I think it's 125. So kill confirm you can do it as well. It's actually a lot cheaper to play kill confirm and get it than it is to play team death match. So that's the fourth class we have, guys. The second class that we have is the Thrive. So I don't really use infantry on my Thrive on my PPSH class that much, but I decided why not? Because I have two P I have two PPSH class setups in this video. So we have infantry guys, and we have the Thrive too. We have excited mags, rapid fire, grip, and advanced rifle. With this class setup, the PPSH does not have that much recoil. Surprisingly, I thought it'd have a lot more, but it doesn't have that much recoil. With the Thrive and all that stuff on it. And as well, we have Specialist with the Machine Pistol. Machine Pistol and the Fray and the Sticky Grenade are the must-to in this game now. Because they did add Riot Shield. So the Sticky Grenade, all you have to do is throw the Sticky Grenade on the Riot Shield. And it'll instantly kill them. Unless they run Hunker. But a lot of them don't run Hunker. They'll run something else stupid. So a Sticky Grenade will kill a Riot Shield instantly. You do not have to worry about getting killed by a Riot Shield. So what's going guys? We have Hunker, Escalation, and Lookout. On my SMGs, I always will run this basic training because look out, I don't have to die by those stupid nades. Escalation helps you guys a, a lot because as soon as you get that, if you get a double kill, it reloads your it reloads your clip. So Escalation guy is a really overpowered perk. I'm going to try getting a gameplay with you guys and just show you guys on how broken it actually is. We'll probably go into shipment and I'll just show you guys on how broken it is with spawn trapping and in general. It's great for if you're snipers if you're trying to get clips as well. And we have Lookout once again to increase my mini-map coverage. So the third class we have, guys, is the STG. G Haywire 2. So we have Excited Mags, Advanced Rifle, Grip, and Red Dot Sight with Specialist as well, Machine Pistol, Dicky Grenade, and the British. One right here now, we have Escalation first, we have Hustle second, and then we have Hunker third. I do switch it up on the SCG, but sometimes if I am getting killed a lot by nades, really bad, if I want to use this class setup, I will just switch Hustle and, ex and Escalation. I'll just have Escalation be my third one to lock. But normally, I do run it with this with my STG. I've been trying to use a lot more different guns on stream as well, if you guys can see. I'm not just trying to use straight PBSH. I've been using the bar, FG, SCG, all that good stuff. So, the fourth one we have, guys, is the bar. So, for me, the guys, the bar is probably going to be one of my favorite assault rifles in the game, I feel like. Just because it's so good, guys, that... It's, it's ridiculous. It's really underrated. No one uses its gun that much anymore. No one uses the bar. Everyone's using like SCGs, FGs, M1s. Like no one's really using this gun for some reason. I don't know why, but not a lot of people are actually using the bar now. So infantry guys, again, one there we have hustle, escalation, and energetic. We have energetic on this map because the bar do run the slowest out of any of the ARs in my opinion. But we do have the bar, and then energetic gonna run really quickly, and escalation. Is always a must. Escalation is probably the best basic training in the game right now. 100% in my opinion. It's really good guys. And it's a solid, solid basic training to use. 
So now the fifth one we have, guys, is kind of like a weird class setup. It's really weird. It's really unorthodox, but it works. It's really good. I use it on stream. It's actually pretty good. So it is expeditionary with the Type 100. We have advanced rifle, extended mags, and rapid fire. This gun, you don't need any grip on it. It has no recoil whatsoever, and it just absolutely laser kits, and it just maps. So once again, guys, we have hustle, exhalation, and we have sc and we have scope or scoop line, whatever you want to pronounce it. This one, well, uh, aiming down sights have less eye sway. It's like infantry. So if you guys know what the Type 100, it's a really like kind of mobile gun. Like you can run pretty quick with it. The mo the mobility with the Type 100 is actually pretty good compared to like the M1 and MP40. The MP40, if you guys did not know, if you guys don't even know this, but the MP40 has the slowest ADS to bring your gun from a standing to up. It has the slowest time out of any SMGs. I don't know if you guys have ever realized that, but I saw the Demarco J talking about it. I believe the fastest one is actually the Type 100 from here, from like a run standpoint to a bring up standpoint. The Type 100 is the fastest weapon out of all of them. I'm 100% sure. But remember the Marker J talking about. So the Type 100 is a pretty good solid gun. And we have two S mines. This is like kind of my camping class. Or if, if anyone's bullshitting me with the fire shotguns or anything. If I get St. Mary Dumont and they're pissing me off. I'll go ahead and get on top of the, that room, and I'll just put double S mines, and I'll sit up there. That's only if kids piss me off, but this is kind of an unorthodox class setup, but it does work pretty good, and it's it's kind of a pretty good low-key slapper class. If you guys need a good class, I actually would copy and paste this. It's actually pretty good, surprisingly. The sixth one we have, guys, is my basically don't, don't fucking camp class. What I mean by that is this class... It's, it's I've armed with a PBSH. I have grip, extended mix, and rapid fire. I have a hustle, energetic, and escalation on it. This dude with with hustle and, and, and energetic. If you guys do not know, energetic basically increases sprint speed and take no fall damage. And hustle is reload faster while sprinting. So right now, you run really fast with this. You're able to get in the spawns. You don't have to worry about them camping or anything because you got armed on it. If they if you get a guy camping up in a window, this is the go-to class setup to use because. You're not going to die from nades. You're not going to die from S-mines, any of that bullshit. You have it on with hustle and, and energetic and escalation. You're unstoppable with this class setup. This is probably low-key the best class setup in the game, in my opinion, I think, just because you have armed on. So you're protected by any explosion. And if you can get hustle, energetic, and escalation, you are 100% insane. Your guy's running super fast, and it's a solid class setup. So once again, guys, copy and paste these. Let me know what you guys think about these class setups as well. Seven one, the seventh class we have, guys, is the Volkstrom Gewehr. So I have not used this Volkstrom Gewehr in a long time. Like, I'm maybe a couple of months I've not used this class, but I do use it off stream occasionally, but I've not made a video or used it on stream in a while just because it's not a solid AR anymore as it used to be, but it's a pretty solid AR to me in my opinion. But I'm thinking, guys, I don't have any DLC guns on here. I do have the Volkstrom Gewehr, but that's the only DLC one. But if you guys want to see one, obviously with the AVS, guys, you can switch it. doesn't matter what AR you want to run. But AVS, I do use it, but not that much. We do have the Volkstrom Gewehr, and then we have Hustle, Exhalation, and Energetic. Just because it's Volkstrom Gewehr, I feel like you are kind of slow with it. So this is a pretty solid class for me, in my opinion. The eighth class we have, guys, is the, the FG42. So... The FG42, guys, is a pretty solid gun. If you guys have not seen the video, I made this video, I think, about a couple weeks or a month ago. It's actually pretty good, guys. The FG42 is probably one of my favorite ARs in the game just because it's from the old Call of Duties before from World at War. If you guys ever use it in World at War, you guys know when you get in World at War, this gun was absolutely garbage. It had the had so much recoil back in World at War that it was unusable. But now it's a it's heavy hitting, it's slow, has no recoil. So it's really flipping good. And we got hunker guys, escalation we got I mean, not we have hustle, escalation and hunker. Once again hunker is for I don't have to get killed by those stupid nades. If anyone that is curious guys, hunker and arm are not the same thing. Like if you get hit with a if you get hit with a fire shotgun with hunker you'll die. Arm will not will not let you die. Obviously, it says early grenade warning and take less explosive damage. So if you get hit with fire shotguns, Hunker's not going to protect you. I thought Hunker did. I thought Hunker was the same as Arm when I first played, but it's not. I found out about a couple months ago. So Hunker is kind of an useless perk in my opinion. You might as well just use Armed. Hunker is nothing really good about it. It kind of sucks in my opinion. But once again, guys, this is a class up with the FG42. Now, the ninth class of guys is kind of my shipment class. If you guys know I love shipment. I think shipment's an awesome map. 
Just because it's easy for XP, it's easy to drop V2 rockets, and it's funny to just see how mad people get because you sit on head glitches. But every single person that plays Shipman sits behind the car. Everyone sits on head glitches in Shipman. There's nothing you can do about it. Everyone just everyone just camps on head glitches on Shipman. So this is kind of my Shipman class setup. If not, I will just put Blitzrig on. But this is the set we do use. Grip, Excited Megs, and Rapid Fire with Exhalation, Hustle, and Energetic. This is just so I can be a lot. I can be more mobile with the LMG. I can turn my LMG into kind of like a rushing type style. So that's why I use Energetic. If I get double kill reloads, my mag, obviously, and shipment. We got hustle once again, and then energetic. I will switch this for hunker too. It doesn't matter, but I do have armed on, so I don't need hunker as well. And the last and final class, guys, we have is my sniper. So I do have expedition air, and a lot of people ask me, why don't you use mountain? Because when I snipe, I kind of like camping. I know a lot of people don't like hearing that word, but when I snipe, I'm going to control an air. I'm not going to go be out in the middle because I can't snipe for shit. I'm a terrible sniper. So if I do snipe, I kind of have to a little bit camp. Like Kappa Gustav, I don't know if you'd really consider that camping because all you physically have to do is throw a nade up at someone on Gustav and you kill them. So I do have double S mines with my snipers, British 6 nines, and we have look, we have Escalation, sco Scope, and then we have Lookout. Once again, to increase the minimap. We have we're able to move side to side, and then we have Escalation as well. Sometimes I will take off Lookout, and I'll probably put Hunker on as well. It all depends if the kids are throwing a lot of nades or what, but with, I'm, with my Sniper, I'm always constantly moving. I'm not sitting in one spot. So let me know, guys, what you guys think about these top 10 class setups for specials. If you guys want to see a top 17 best class setups, I will do that for you guys. I need to start making better classes because if you guys have seen, a lot of my classes are kind of the same. Like right here, right here, we have, we have four or five AVS classes, and we have some stupid... Like a Nambu class. So I got to make sure my classes are actually set up. But let me know what you guys think about these top 10 specialist class setups. But if you guys are brand new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe and turn on the notifications. And also drop a like on the video. We're on the road to 2.1k subscribers, guys. But I'm TC, guys. I'm signing out. I ain't even worried, worried, worried. I ain't in a hurry, hurry, hurry. I know success is coming, coming, coming. So don't think I'm rushing